Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today, I thought it would be fun to play with the Weirdos palette from Unearthly Cosmetics. I haven't played with it in a while and I just felt the urge to get a little bit spooky glam with this. Um, I know it's not available anymore, so, you know, but I guess I have so many palettes in my collection that are probably unavailable now and I just can't like not use them ever. And I'm sure a chunk of you at least who are watching this own it. So hopefully this inspires you, but here is the palette. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love it. So I thought we would just do some sort of kind of pinky kind of glam with this and just see, I guess where it takes us. So I'm gonna zoom you in and let's get started. All right, up close. Let's pat out our eyeshadow primer first. Not the easiest thing to do with these long ass press on nails on, but hey, we're gonna make it work. All right, so today I thought we would go in, like I said in the intro, with the Weirdos palette. So I'm thinking, I'm wanting to stay sort of in like the pinky purple realm. So I think we're going to go in with, you know, this shade, this shade, that one. And then I think we're going to go in with glamour and feather for the shimmers. But yeah, that's, that's my plan. So let's get started. So this down, find some brushes. Let's go with, all right, I'm gonna start with the black, I bind you. And I'm picking this up on a big flat brush. This is a Sigma Soft Focus Shader E52. I really need to get more Sigma brushes. They're amazing, but I'm just the worst for actually ordering brushes. I just find them cheap wherever I can. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're gonna go in Halo style today. So we're gonna stamp this there. And then also on the outer corner. How's everyone's day? Hopefully it's going well. Today we had my oldest birthday party. His birthday was a week ago, but we had to postpone it due to children being sick. So we had it today. It was at a trampoline park. He had an absolute blast. He turned five, by the way. If anyone's wondering, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. He had a blast. He got to play with his friends jump around, have tons of sugar. It was great. And now he's, him and his brother are passed out. So that's always the plan, isn't it? All right, so we got the shape going with that. And then we are going to grab the kind of small uh, flat brush. This is a Still Spa Essentials Eyeshadow 005. I don't even know where I got this from. I've had it in my collection for quite a while. I don't, I'm not really sure. Anyways, I'm gonna go into three by three, just purple. We're just gonna start continuing to build on that shape. I'm mostly just sort of patting the colors in place right now. We'll get everything blended out a bit more as we go, but just sort of patting it allows me to control where, where the color is going and how kind of high or far up, like far out it goes. We'll go back and re-intensify everything too, because I find that like once I add more stuff, like sometimes the original uh, original color. Actually, I want to go across this a little bit. Sometimes the original shade 
will lose some of its depth. So we'll go in and re-intensify anything that we have to. All right, and now I really need to wash my brushes because I need more um, of my small shader uh, blending brushes. They all appear to be dirty. So we're gonna go in with, this is a Real Techniques base shadow brush. It's just nice, fluffy, sort of has like a little bit um, it's like a little bit pinched on the side and we're going to go into he's sorry. So who out there watching this is a craft fan. I love it. I just recently watched the second movie that they did. Like what's it called? Like craft legacy or something like that. And it was good. It wasn't as good, but it was still good. So with this one, we're doing a little bit more of like a blend now. Not going crazy with it yet. Get this out of the way. But starting to do that a bit. And like, see, like we'll go back in with the other shades too, because like right now, um, this pink is only going to blend out that purple so much. So we'll have to go like, just like you go back and forth with things. Like that's really what getting like a good blend and gradient is, is you just have to go back and forth. Sometimes you have to re-add pigmentation. Sometimes you have to soften something up. It's all just playing with it, being patient, taking the time. You'll get there. So who is everybody's favorite character in the craft? I think mine's definitely Nancy. I don't know. I also liked them all. It's not like I was like a diehard like craft fan. It's like, it's not like I've watched it over and over. Like I've seen it numerous times, but I don't know it so well that I could like quote a whole bunch of stuff. Like I recognize the popular, well-known quotes in that from it. Like obviously, we're the weirdos, mister. But can't say I'd be able to pick everything apart. All right, with the same brush that I just used for the pink, I'm going to dip now back into 3x3, three three, that purple that we used previously. And I'm going to start retensifying that and like blending it into the pink. So that way, see how like going back in with that, it helps soften up everything and this, if I have to I'll go back into the pink I'll just keep playing with it until, until we get there so I'm probably going to uh, speed up the rest of this. I'm really just going to go back and forth between shades, um, adding pigment, blending, and then we will meet back up for the next step. <laughs>
got the blend ingredient that I would like. So now I'm going to take this uh, flat angled brush. This is by Jessa, but unfortunately it does not have a name on it. And I'm going to lightly dip into I Bind You because I don't want to get black pigment everywhere. And I'm just going to start stamping that along the lower lash line. I'll still go in and do it but a good step to do before this would have been to go in with my uh, black liner for the bottom line because it'll just help create a nice shadow base as well but when you do this look <laughs> you can do that but that is something that would have been really nice for the look and actually I'm going to I can find it quickly go in with my black hold on be right back all right we found it I am going to go in with my melt uh this is the all day every day ultra matte eyeliner this is in 1987 I don't know if they actually make this anymore I think for whatever reason melt discontinued their all day every day eyeliner and I don't think they like whatever they have left now I think it's just like getting rid of stock luckily for whatever reason when I did some orders a little while ago like I say a little while ago. Oh, the frame. Uh, anyways, <laughs> doesn't matter when. Uh, they, for whatever reason, like sent me like one of these as like a freebie in each of those orders. So, yeah, that was awesome. So I've got a few backups of this because it is my freaking favorite black eyeliner. And I was super bummed. While I'm here, I might as well actually sharpen it first uh, I was super bummed when it seemed like it was being discontinued I don't know if that means that they're gonna come out with another one like I don't know why they would get rid of the pencils unless they were like reformulating or something because uh, they don't have other than like their waterline ones which are all like nude and like for brightening I just suck it doing my tight lining it is worth doing it does make a difference <laughs> uh but they don't have like they just have like nudes and like it's all about like shades that are supposed to help brightening I knocked my drawer out of my thing when I was looking for that liner anyways I digress now I am going to go in this is with a Gothlo 703, and I am just going to lightly dip into 3x3, three three, and we're going to try to buff this out a little bit. Obviously, this is a bold look, so having a bit of a more dramatic lower lash line is totally fine but I also still like it to be a little bit controlled I don't want it absolutely all over the place I think I start like holding my breath sometimes when I'm <laughs> doing this. One, because I'm like trying not to like breathe heavy, I just sound like crazy. I'm gonna go a little back into I Bind You with the black just to make sure that outer corner is super deep. Anyways, <laughs> trying not to hold my breath. 
I am going to now grab my NYX glitter glue. I don't, I haven't checked again to see if it is discontinued because someone told me that they had a really hard time finding this the other day. But there was a while ago where I thought it was being discontinued and so I, in a panic, went and bought like four or five of them so I've got a bunch of backups of this and it takes a while to go through a tube but I was just like I cannot run out <laughs> of my next glitter glue because I use this for everything oh sorry this is a flat uh well I guess I can say what it actually is a Morphe uh Jeffree Star a JS11 so it's just like sort of like a flat shader brush and I'm using this just to stamp my glitter glue. Actually, I actually need a little bit, a little bit more. Ow. God, the only thing with like, so when I put on like wear my press-ons, I wear them just with like the sticker like things, whatever, because I can't have these on all the time. I've got young kids, um, my youngest is still in diapers, so I need, I like having nails when I wanna have them, but I need to be able to take them off for my day to day. Plus also I work um, in the, a field where I can't really easily have long nails with a lot of the stuff I have to do, so. I like being able to have them easily being able to take off, but the thing on that is that if I put like too much pressure somewhere or something, they'll just like flip up or something. So I also have to be like really careful when I'm wearing them. All right, so now let's get into the really fun part, which is the shimmers. Oh my god. I hope this shade doesn't ever go bad on me like it did for a lot of people, the glamour shade. I I know that there were numerous people that had issues, but oh my god. Just look at that. Ooh, ooh. So far though, I have been lucky. Mine has been fine, so I pray it stays that way. But who knows? If it doesn't, it doesn't. But this shade is stunning. Isn't that just magical? I feel so bad for like, I think um, Amanda, the owner of Unearthly Cosmetics, from what I gathered, um, ended up having like a really hard time with the manufacturing company that she was using when she released this collection. And I feel bad because I think that because of all that, like it ended up actually sort of leaving a bit of a bad taste in her mouth. Like I get, I don't know. I don't like, not, no, I don't know if it left a bad taste in her mouth, but I don't think, I think it sort of discolored the collection a little bit for her because it just ended up not being of great of an experience which if that is the case that makes me sad because she did such an amazing job on this collection like all the palettes are like they're my favorite palettes in my collection the color stories the shadows themselves the artwork like oh my gosh like you you've seen the front of the palettes like how freaking amazing is that? They're just the most beautiful palettes ever. Like when she was releasing these, I knew right away I had to have every single one. And I don't regret it at all. They are all super magical and amazing. And I love them. All right, so now I should probably find a little brush. Sure, let's go in with this this little one. I I'm trying to find it. It's a Moda angled eyeliner. I just want something small that I can fit in my inner corner area. Go in with a little bit more NYX 
glitter glue, glitter primer, whatever we're calling it. Oops, might have been a bit more than I needed, but oh well. It'll stick nice and good. And we're gonna go in my inner corners. <laughs> And then we're going to go in with Feather. I have to also just show you this shade. Like, can we, can we just give that a moment? Let's, let's swatch that. Just, oh my God. I, no words. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to take Feather and we are going to, and there's like magical shades like that in each of the palettes. We're going to put this on the inner corner. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I love it so much. And we'll get really nice and sparkly. This really dramatic, super dramatic. And let's put some on our brow bone too, cause why not? I'm the worst. I always like forget to highlight my brow bone. I just always question whether or not it really makes that much of a difference if anyone can even see it. I'm sure you can see it right now, but you know what I mean. All right, let's go back. I'm going to take this one that I used for the purple originally. We're just going to... Getting over the black's getting overtaken a little bit, so that's okay though. We can always go back in with more. It's getting a little bit, a little bit out of hand. Oh no! I love this side still. This side went a little bit crazy. Like instead of really covering the feather that I accidentally brought up there, it's just turning it into a different funky color, which is gorgeous, but not, not what I wanted. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm just going to try to wipe that away a little bit. Doesn't really seem like it's doing anything. Ugh. Poking myself in the eye. It's turning into a bit of a mess. Alright, hopefully I wiped that away enough. <sighs> bit messier on the inner corner than originally intended, but that's okay. We're rolling with it. I don't hate what happened there. It just... That's the thing with makeup. It doesn't always go as planned. Sometimes you have to pivot. Pivot. I don't know if else instantly think of Ross when they hear the word pivot. Okay, we're gonna go and I am going to finish up the look with some liner, some lashes. I'll probably have a lip on. I'm already pretty sure with what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, like, 
it's it's not gonna be a nude i'm telling you that right now anyways be right back with the finished look all right look is finished what do we think i love it so for my lips told you it wasn't gonna be a nude i went with the kvd beauty everlasting lip liner in the shade sinner and the kaleidos makeup cloud lab lip clay in the shade scorpion fruit i love this shade it's like a black, but it's like a blackened purple, which is awesome because I have just been loving my black lipsticks lately. So being able to have blacks, but that are a little bit different than just your regular black are is amazing. So I'm all for it. What do we think of the look? I am so, so happy to have this in my collection. I just, oh, this is, this is one of my little babies. I'm gonna cherish it forever. I hope you had fun doing this tutorial with me watching being inspired uh you know even if you don't have this palette maybe you have shades in your own collection that you can try to recreate something with just even finding the inspiration to you can go like super bold with your makeup you can do whatever the heck you want so yeah <laughs> that's that's all I got for today that's this look I hope you had fun. I would really appreciate any thumbs up, comments, any and all engagement will really help the video get out to more people and help my account grow, which I would be so grateful for. Um, if you're not already, check me out on my other socials. I'm on Instagram and TikTok as well, both also Spooky Mama Glam. And yeah, I think we're gonna just end it there. If you are curious about anything else that I am wearing, I will have it all linked in the description box down below. But I had a lot of fun creating this look. I am obsessed. I wish I wasn't doing this makeup at night and gonna basically take pictures and go wash it off. So yeah, that's, that's life right now. Anyways, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great rest of your night. Catch you later. Bye. Thank you.